Hey there, here's a quick video tutorial on how to use the Screencast-O-Matic LTI app inside Canvas. Now, there's so many screencasting tools available to us. Um, for instance, I'm using right now Screencastify as a Chrome extension here. You also have QuickTime, um, uh, which is embedded in our um, MacBooks and things like that as a specific app. Uh, you use QuickTime, then you can download that as an audio or a video and then upload that into Canvas. But there's also a tool uh, that is easily embeddable inside or integrated, if you would, inside Canvas, and that is Screencast-O-Matic. Um, if you've ever used Screencast-O-Matic, you don't have to purchase the premium features. Now, you can if you choose that you want to provide students the ability to uh, to use Screencast-O-Matic to video uh, tape their own voice in their own presentations and things like that. But there are native features to Canvas inside assignments like the media record, the audio record, and, and so forth. And so, but I want to show you, sometimes it's good for you to be able to, um, to do a um, presentation or some kind of demonstration or how to or something that you want to illustrate to students that you can then uh, create um, uh, for them that you can then upload into pages, assignments, uh, discussions, quizzes, and so forth. Um, so I've made Screencast-O-Matic available across the district in, in our Iredell State School Schools instance. And so here's how we, here's how you activate that. Here's how you uh, mobilize that. So you come down here to settings in your specific course. And then in the course navigation, um, down at the very bottom of the navigation is Screencast-O-Matic. And so I'm simply going to uh, enable that. And so now it's going to appear uh, at the bottom of my navigation. And so you will see it over here at the bottom here. OK, so now um, it, when the first time, if you don't have an account, it's going to ask you to uh, create an account. If you already currently have a Screencast-O-Matic account, you can just simply log in. So I'm going to click Screencast-O-Matic so that you can see what it looks like. Um, when you when you open it up, it's going to ask you to um, to either to either include a, an application that you have already uh, recorded, uh, a video you've already recorded. Uh, you can simply drop into the uh, page or assignment or whatnot. But I'm going to do a new recording, and so I'm going to show you what what happens here when I click new recording. It's going to ask you to open um, a screen recorder launcher. And so I'm going to uh, do that. And you can see that um, uh, you can see that it, it, it attaches to the uh, um, uh, to the bottom here of your MacBook. And you can see now that I, I have the actual screen uh, pieces so you can uh, you can do just the, the screen, you can do just webcam, or you can do both. And so you can see my picture down here um, at the bottom. Uh, that's oftentimes a great way to provide personalization to your, to your videos. And so you can see here I got both. I can set my preferences, I can check my mic, um, and so forth. Uh, so when I click record, uh, because I'm using a different tool uh, to, to demonstrate this, um, um, I'm not sure what uh, what that will look like, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit the record button, and it's going to give you the countdown so that you can record um, your practice. Um, of course, you're going to want to remove this too, as your because uh, that can get into the way as you are building out your um, specific um, um, video. And so, I want to do is I'm going to go over to my pages, okay? Um, and so, let me just go over to pages. And I'm going to go to view all pages and choose a page that I am. I'm going to upload this specific video. Uh, so I'm going to view all and then I'm going to go grab that video. The other neat thing, too, is you can increase the size of the what you're of the screen that you want to record. Um, and so I'm going to do this page here. And so I'm going to now um, um, upload this video inside this page. And so let me go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and edit.
Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and stop the video so that you can see what this looks like uh, from the screencast-o-matic um, perspective. Okay, I'm going to hit done. I'm going to say save and upload, and then you're going to see it processing here in a second. All right, so I'm going to give it a title, uh, demonst uh, demonstrating... Screencast-O-Matic in Canvas, okay? And I'm going to say upload, and then it's going to upload the, the video. Uh, you can see that it's uh, it's going to give you a count um, of uh, the percentage as you move forward. Um, so we'll just let it publish. Okay, so now let me, there it is. Now it says that it is um, ready to up embed into the LMS. So I'm going to hit continue. Okay, so now if I'm on my page uh, that I want to embed this video, I simply come to external tools here. And I'm going to go to screencast o -Matic, And it's going to bring up my, um, the, my videos, all the videos I've recorded. So I'm going to choose this video here. Then it's going to give you a uh, preview button. Uh, you can choose uh, whether you want large, medium. I always choose medium because that's kind of have that's kind of a a happy um, uh, uh, medium, if you would pardon the uh, no pun intended. But uh, it's a not too small, not too large. Uh, show controls. That's an accessibility issue. I would keep that. Keep the captions on too, and then of course. Um, you know, auto replay is good, uh, and that's an accessibility feature too. It's always good for it to to start auto playing, but uh, if you don't do that, just instruct your kid, your students to uh, move forward just by clicking play. So I'm gonna I'm gonna embed its retreating content, and so now you can see here that it is embedded in um, in my page for students to um, begin watching. Okay, so I hope that helps. Um, great new tool, great new app that we can uh, uh, provide uh, or leverage learning um, here inside Canvas.